The wonderful world of Jira is constantly changing. And in this video, I'm gonna give you the top 10 latest changes that you and everyone on your team needs to know about. So not only make sure that you're subscribing to the channel, make sure you're hitting that like button. And more importantly, share this video with everyone on your team, post it on your slacks, post it on your internets, let everybody know because these changes not only impact you, but they impact your entire organization. So let's jump into it. So change number one, and unless you've been living under a rock, you probably have seen the new UI. And the biggest takeaway here is that the entire navigation that used to go across the top of the screen is now going vertically down the side. And previously the Jira project navigation that used to go vertically is now going horizontally. Now there's a lot of other nuances that I'll link down below that you're gonna wanna be aware of with this new UI and UX experience. But overall, it's a welcome change. It's a new design. And more importantly, Atlassian has unified their products. So this new UI, while it's different and it takes some time to adapt to it, all of the Atlassian products in the cloud are slowly but surely adapting the same look and feel. So as you change from Confluence to Jira and to some of the other products, you're gonna have a very cohesive and similar experience, which to me is a win in my book, but that's the first change that you need to be aware of. Number two, you've probably seen this if you've been looking around, but issues are no longer called issues. In fact, Atlassian has renamed everything to a work item. And we can see it subtly in a variety of places. For example, introduction to work items here. We have the work type. And Atlassian has also propagated this throughout other places. For example, we have all work. Here, inside of the gear, if you're an admin, we now have work items where you're gonna configure work types. And we have a bunch of work type hierarchies and work type schemes and work type screen schemes. And so everywhere and anywhere that Atlassian used to have issues, it's slowly, it's not everywhere, it still hasn't propagated everywhere, but for sure Atlassian is slowly propagating the word work item or work everywhere where we used to have issues. So that's a pretty big change. And one you're also gonna have to get used to because let's just face it, I've been used to saying issues for so many years, 20 years, that now all of a sudden everything is work. Next up, this is slowly going to be rolling out, but it's going to impact everybody. And that is, instead of projects here on the left-hand side, Atlassian is going to be introducing, aka rebranding, projects to spaces. And that's going to bring us closer to the spaces in Confluence, which leads me to wonder and ponder, is Atlassian combining the Confluence and Jira experience into one cohesive location? And we already see a tight integration between Jira and Confluence. In fact, inside of Jira, you can put Confluence and Jira side by side. And so there's a lot of interoperability that Atlassian is designing in between those two tools. And so with the native change of projects to spaces and the tight integration of all the Confluence artifacts inside of your Jira environment, will Confluence go away? Does it just get folded into Jira? too soon to tell, but I am speculating, but let me know down in the comments section what you think about that change. Next up, back on the topic of UI, I do wanna show you this really cool change that I actually really, really like, and that is when you go to set the icon for your work types, that last one calls it an avatar, we have an updated set of icons, and I really, really like these new icons. They're really fresh, modern, they're awesome. I like these main ones. I'm not sure why it lasted made these smaller, but I love the new bug icon. I'm not digging the story slash task one all that much because this one and this one are too close. One's a square, one's a rectangle. And I think the story is some in some cases is defaulting to this rectangular one while the task is still this other one. And so it's, it's not the cleanest. And then we have the subtask, which basically has two of these, very similar to this one. Uh, for the most part, I like the new UI, but I wish they would have had a little bit more difference between this one and this one. For those of you that are on the premium or enterprise versions of Jira, you might have started to see RoboChat pop up. And RoboChat is part of Atlassian's AI plan, and it's your ability to interact with Atlassian's AI, and you can find information, be productive, draft content. There's deep research that's enabled where it goes off and finds a bunch of information for you. And the best part is that Robo is context aware. So it's not just Googling information, but rather it's using the information you have in Confluence and it's using your Jira information and it's cross tool figuring information out and bringing it back to you in one cohesive location. But make sure you hit that subscribe button because we are gonna be dropping Robo specific videos very, very soon. So let me know in the comment section if you're interested in those. 
For those of you that are fortunate enough to install apps in the Atlassian Marketplace, you may have noticed that Atlassian now has this new Runs on Atlassian moniker. And basically that is a new classification that tells you that this application is hosted on Atlassian, the data is stored within Atlassian, and it's data residency compliant. So if compliance and data governance is important for you, make sure you keep an eye out for this Runs on Atlassian icon because this is going to guarantee that that data is in a little bit more of a safe area. Now on the same topic of apps, you may have noticed that Atlassian has rebranded from plugins or products to everything just being an app. And so this includes marketplace apps and it's going to include our main apps like Jira and Confluence and Jira Service Management and Jira Product Discovery. Everything is now an app and Atlassian is moving into this very modular world where you have an app for the talent, you have an app for your goals, you can have an app for any marketplace available app. And so just apps is everywhere. So that's another major change that has been slowly rolling out. Over on the API token side, whenever you go and get an API token, it is going to now default to expire within seven days. So if you're not careful, it's gonna expire on you very, very quickly. However, you do have the ability to now extend it up to a full year, but unlike in the past where it never expired, now just keep in mind that API tokens do now have an expiration and they can expire within that same day all the way up to a year from the day that you make that token but they will now expire. This is now being enforced and unlike before where they didn't expire, your token will now expire. So keep that in mind. A couple more changes for you that you should be aware of. When you click on all work and you go and take a look at all the work that you have, you're going to notice that you have a hierarchy here and the total number of work items that are in your project is not accurately represented. So right now I'm showing 19 work items, but you'll notice that if I just do a scroll, you're gonna see this expansion here. And so there's a bunch of stories underneath these epics. And so I do have way more than 19 work items, but this number does not get updated down here on the bottom right corner. And so the way to fix that is to click on these three dots over here and turn off this show hierarchy. And that's just gonna give you a flat list and it's going to give you an accurate representation of the actual number of work items that are in your project when you click on all work. So fancy me that, it actually gives you the right number. At last, and I'm not sure why we have the hierarchy to begin with, but in case you've been wondering why this is happening and how to turn it off, that's how you're gonna turn that off. Now staying on the topic of the all work section, a nice and new welcome change is if you wanna see the total number of work items in your project, before you used to have to go through a series of pages and eventually 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 pages later, get to that final number. Well, now we have two cool new features where we can simply keep scrolling. And as you scroll, Atlassian is automatically gonna render and show you the next 50 items, so no more pagination. But if you wanna know the total number, all you gotta do is click on this blue icon here, and then Jira is going to tell you the total number of work items without having to go through, again, 30, 40, 50, 100 pages or infinitely scroll for days. And so this is a really cool, neat little feature. And that's it for this video. Those are your top 10 changes that you need to be aware of. Atlassian, again, is consistently making changes. So let me know if you like this style of video. Let me know down in the comment section down below. And I wanted to make this kind of video because Atlassian is changing so much and it's hard to stay up to date with all those changes. And so hopefully these videos appropriately and accurately summarize those changes so that you don't get left behind. And so again, make sure you subscribe, make sure you drop a like and share this video with not only your team, but with everybody that you know that uses Jira because these tools are consistently changing and it would be a shame for people to not know or be aware of all the amazing changes that Atlassian rolls out. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.